Hey y'all, welcome back to Cajun Country Living. Today it is time for us to start on our new porch. We have a lot to do. We have grass to move. We have topsoil to remove. We have dirt to haul in. It's a whole process. Okay, as y'all can see behind me, we already have the skid steer here. And in this video, Uncle Wags is gonna be making an appearance. That is right. Uncle Wags, my brother, AKA the dirt doctor is gonna be here today and he's gonna help us out with this. He's got the equipment and the know-how. He's gonna help us get all this dirt work knocked out in a hurry. And we'll be introducing y'all to him shortly. We are so fortunate that Jim's brother does have all this equipment and is willing to come out here and spend his day with us. I mean, I guess who wouldn't want to, but. Don't ask him, <laughs> just for the record, because he'll have something really, really smart to say about that, I can promise you. We gotta start by getting a few things moved around the house and that way it'll be ready for whenever he gets here. Let's do it. I said move it, not play in it. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all remember a few episodes ago, we came out here, we went ahead and laid out exactly where we wanted to put this porch. Now that we figured out where exactly we want this to be, we went ahead and pulled those stakes up, we went ahead and marked the ground. That way we can see exactly where we need to work and not have to worry about those stakes. This is currently what the side of the house looks like. I'm gonna show y'all the very end, the big difference that we are gonna make today. So y'all take in all that pretty green grass because it is fixing to go. As soon as Wags got here, we formed a game plan and somehow Wags ended up being the supervisor. We started by shoveling this rock and filling it in a low spot that we had in the driveway. And as soon as that was done, Wags was ready to do what he does best. As if having my brother as a supervisor wasn't bad enough, here comes Pops rolling in to cast an expert eye on how the progress is going. Well, I guess we didn't do too bad because he didn't stick around long to fine tune our operation. Now he should have known we had it all under control since he was the one that taught us. Man, I've heard of rolling out the red carpet, but watching this green carpet roll up is really satisfying.
just for the record, if that would not be my brother running that skid steer and just somebody that we hired, there is no way that I would let them that close to our home. <laughs> Finding one that you like should not be a difficult task. And Bright Sellers agrees, and that's today's sponsor. Bright Sellers is a wine club that believes that anybody, and yes, even Captain Crocs, can experience the joy of wine. Shipped straight to your doorstep after filling out a quick seven question quiz, Bright Sellers curates to you wines from all over the world that flavor your taste palette. Bright Sellers offers 12 different plan options, from 80 plus wine regions delivered straight to you. One of the coolest things to me about Bright Cellars is that it comes with education cards in each box. Each bottle in the box has an education card outlining taste notes, suggested pairings, best serving temps, and origins. Learn why their bottles have over 600,000 five star reviews. And if you don't like a bottle, they'll replace it. Whether you enjoy your wine while reading on the couch, hosting a party with friends, or like us, Simply enjoying a night together after the house is quiet. Bright Sellers is your one-stop shop. I want to thank Bright Sellers for giving our followers a limited time offer of $100 off their subscription plus a free wine tote. Click the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today. Thanks again Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. I guess mama felt bad that her boys was wasting away in that hot Louisiana sun so she cooked us a good lunch. Now all three of us boys argue about who's the supervisor around here. But deep down, we all know who it is, Mama. I second that. I think that mother-in-laws get a bad rap, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. You just need to go get you a Southern mother-in-law and then we can talk from there. Wags got all that topsoil removed, so now the Dirt Doctor is about to start dumping some high compaction soil. If something happens and this doesn't work out, we can all just remember this dirt was prescribed by the dirt doctor and it did come with zero side effects. And just like that, there he goes to get the next load or dose, however you want to look at it. Y'all might be asking yourselves, now, why did they just take away all this dirt just to dump some more right where it was? <laughs> so the reason we did that is because when you start getting away from this house, that is the existing pasture. And we built up all the topsoil back to the edge of the house originally, whenever we hauled in all of the field dirt for the house. So this dark dirt doesn't compact well, it's topsoil. So when it gets wet, it gets spongy. The dirt that we're replacing it with is a highly compactable soil. So that is the base that we want our slab to be sitting on. Well, the further away that we get from the house, the deeper we had to dig. What we're gonna do is take this compact dirt and we're gonna fill it all back in and make it leveled up straight to the house. So it's like that now, we're gonna make it like that. One more time. Like an airplane. And I say we, but I mean, <laughs> Uncle Wags and Jim on that skid steer. And so while Wags is gone, I'm gonna jump on the skid steer, spread this first load of dirt, and I'm gonna start hauling some of this topsoil away from the house, just while we're waiting on him killing some time. Does Wags know? Now Wags may or may not know, but that's unimportant, he's not here. I sure wish Santa would bring me one of these things. I absolutely love this. And we could do so much cool stuff if we had one of these. Do you know how many projects we already have going on? Yeah, I know. It's got the air conditioner on in here. How massive is that? Oh, 
Wags might be the dirt doctor. Does that make me a nurse practitioner? Mm, I think I'd stay with Captain Crocs rather than nurse practitioner of dirt. Don't y'all think? There's no telling how old that is. Jim just hollered at me to come out here and he said, hey, there's something shiny down there. So I said, okay. I said, where is it at? He said, next to that pile of dirt. <laughs> Sounded like solid direction. Next to, me. to the pile of dirt, y'all. Huh. Hey, Which of the 47 it. piles <laughs> but you found it. That's the main thing. My directions must have been pretty clear. I mean, really. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding. Or in the door handle. <laughs> One thing that I don't think we've talked about in a really, really long time is that way, way, way back in the day, right where our house is sitting, there actually used to be a railroad that ran through there, right? Yeah. We found all kinds of cool stuff here. We have found tons and tons of railroad spikes from the turn of the century. Things like this. You just never know what's going to happen. You never know what you're going to find. I keep hoping that we find like a metal box full of money <laughs> or something. Maybe some gold coins from the 1800s. That well, would be nice, but... We're not that lucky, honey. Yeah, we found a door handle. Yeah, door handles. Door handle is definitely more, more our style. And it's not even a complete door handle. <laughs> At least it could have been one piece. Yeah, or, or attached to the vehicle that it was originally on. I mean, you know. We ain't asking much. <laughs> So on top of this porch build that we're fixing to start, we are fixing to start on the shed build. We are fixing to get this ceiling out here on the front porch done. Obviously we still need the paint. We need to put the trim up. We need to do about a million things. And y'all probably wonder why in the heck are y'all building and adding on right now? So even though a porch should not be top priority right now, with the time of year that it is, we have to jump on this as soon as we can. Just for an example, next week is supposed to be rain all week. So if we can go ahead and knock this out, we can get this dirt to start compacting now. Then whenever it's time where we can start pouring this slab, everything will be prepped up and ready to go. Well, there's two loads. I think me and Augusta is gonna go ahead and spread this one out too. I didn't get in trouble last time, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop back on there. It took five full dump truck loads of dirt to get this up to the grade that we needed it. Mm -hmm. 
Once the last load was dumped, the boys stopped with all the funny business and set up the transit to ensure us an even base to work off of. Well, Lad and I thought they looked like they were being a little too serious. 